Today is January 11, 2012. And a happy new year to all of you. And this year, this is where the rubber supposedly meet the pavement. All you viewers, you already know. I'm going to be saying some things you, you ain't going to like. And you know I'm going to say some things you're not going to like. Then feel free to go to the next video or whatever. Okay? Most viewers that come and watch my videos, you already know what's up. Okay? You already know. If you want the truth, you continue to watch. If you want some knowledge, you continue to watch. Okay? But if you want to be, you know, uh, in the dark about certain things, that's your prerogative. Okay? Now, I want to be talking about some things uh, randomly. Whatever comes to my mind, as long as it's the truth, okay? Now, being prepared this year, okay, is a must. The longer you wait, the worse off you'll be. It's not a matter of if the economy is going to collapse. It's when. When in 2012, okay? A lot of people say, oh, ain't nothing happened last year. It was a lot of shit that happened last year. You paid attention. Okay? It's a slow collapse going on. And we're not going to even talk about the radiation that we all breathing from Fukushima right now. That the government's not even, you know, doing anything about. They keeping it on the low. They keeping their mouth shut because they don't, they don't want you to know. If you remember Chernobyl back in 1986, people still dying from that shit. And Chernobyl wasn't even as bad as Fukushima, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you how to prevent you from getting cancer from this shit 15, 20 years from now, if we're still here, okay? Start eating right. Now, I ain't talking about none of that bull, you know, that you buy out, 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 out of the store or whatever. If you can, get you some whole foods. From a local farmer's market or whatever. No, no no GMO, growth hormones, all that shit, pesticides, none of that, okay? Your body go through enough, uh, get enough uh, impurities. Just breathing the air alone. You don't need none of that, no, no impurities in your food, okay? If you can't, if, if certain foods that, that you don't like, whole food, whole organic foods that you don't like to eat or whatever, get you a supplement, okay? Whole organic natural supplement to keep you from getting sick down the road, okay? Keep you from getting sick right now, all right? And keep your, keep your children from getting sick because you're breathing poison right now, you don't know it. How many people you have heard of putting a damn generator in their house, okay? Doing a storm or a power outage or some shit like that. That keeps thieves from stealing it. But they end up dying, okay? From carbon monoxide poisoning. You can't smell it. You can't taste it. Radiation is worse than that, okay? It kills you even... It, it kills, it's a slow death. Very, very slow. It takes years to kill you. Carbon monoxide to knock you out, knock you on your ass. You know, within minutes, okay, you start to feel a little dizziness and all of that, and you go to sleep, and you don't wake back up. But radiation is totally different, okay? Totally different. You start developing symptoms and shit, you, you don't even know what happened. You're like, damn, that happened 20 years ago. I'm just starting to feel it right now. No, it's been, it's been brewing in your body. You just ignored it. You didn't think the shit was going to happen. Go talk to some people that live that that that, that live near, uh, near Chernobyl, and they'll tell you they got a documentary out on it. So don't say shit that nothing happened last year. A lot of shit happened last year. A lot. You can't expect this year to be no better. You can't. There's too many prophecies written about the year 2012. Bad shit happening. Okay. Look at the beginning of last year with birds falling and dropping out of the sky and shit. 
you know the 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 moon switching uh this axis the 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 moon the moon wasn't the same as it was the year before okay when you looked up at the moon you always see it it had the, you, you see it it's supposed to be at the same alignment the same spot but last year the, it did a rotation okay or either we rotated let me tell you something right now when birds start dropping out the sky and shit and fish start washing up on the shores that's a sign right there that's a sign you know animals can pick up on shit before before we can the fucking elephant, uh, elephant can pick up on the damn earthquake before you even hit before you feel it the animals start acting funny okay they know when to get the fuck out of dodge all right you need to start preparing for what's coming prepare 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 how do you prepare i talked about this in another video okay and i'm not gonna go play merry-go-round you can watch the other video but prepare right now is critical very much so critical all right if you want to be dumb and not prepare and you end up suffering that's on you. You can't say there wasn't enough information going around. Okay? If you, for, for those of you who have passed, don't worry about trying to wake other people up, like I said. If you're watching this video already, you already know a little something. You know a little something. Okay? Just make sure you have a lot of stuff that you would need in a disaster. Okay? Like I, I said in the last video, Having a a, a a life jacket, okay? That's good to have, even if you can swim. It's good to have, you, if your ass get knocked unconscious or whatever, if a tsunami happened, okay? Especially if your ass live on the New, near the New Madrid fault line, just like I do. It don't matter if you can swim, it, there'll be so much fucking debris in the water, something bound to hit your ass and knock you unconscious. But if you can swim and you don't have on the life jacket, guess what? You're going underwater, you're going to drown, okay? At least when you have a fucking life jacket on, in case of a, a, a some shit like that happened in Japan, you have a chance of more, increase the chance of surviving because your ass still sitting on top of the water, you know, knocked out or whatever, unconscious. Maybe somebody like me will come and help your ass or whatever. Okay? If I see you need some help, I'm going to help you. But fuck, if you floating and your head uh, face down in the water and you ain't got no life jacket, you doing a dead man's float, I'm not going to help you. I'm not going to help you. You already dead. Look, I'm going to help these survivors over here. But if you on top of the goddamn water and your face out of the water, more likely you probably get some help. All right? If somebody in a position to help you. Now, those of you that live near the New Madrid fault line or whatever, you already know that it's it's a it's a it's a ticking time bomb. Okay, it's a ticking time bomb. You need to prepare for the worst. If you don't know how to swim. You better start learning how to swim. If you ain't got no goddamn harpoon, you better get one. You better get something. Okay. Because in, in a disaster like the, the tsunami in Japan, with so much debris in the water and dead bodies floating, it's going to be a haven for sharks. Okay? A haven for sharks. I don't even really want to talk about all of that. You already know what, what to expect. Okay, if the New Madrid fault line gives. In the state of Louisiana where I live, we got two fucking power plants, okay? I don't even want to think about that shit. Alright? But we got two power plants. But anyway, being prepared is critical. Get all the things that you need. Don't wait till the price of food go sky high and your ass can't afford it. Okay? 
and they'll run out of, and if you go to go to the damn uh, the, the the bread line to get some food. Shit, they run out ten minutes after they open, or after the line open, and you gonna be stuck. Okay, keeping it real with you. It's not impossible if you arrogant enough to believe that this what I'm talking about is impossible. You're gone already. Unless you have deep pockets, you you're gonna. If you got deep pockets and you already bought a a a a, a some space, a, a share or whatever, a timeshare in some underground facility or some shit, private facility, non-governmental facility that's stocked up on everything in case of a disaster. Okay, where well, you need to go underground. And I'm not talking about the kind of disaster like uh, earthquakes and shit. It, it being underground in an earthquake, uh, you, you know, to, to try to survive an earthquake or some shit, that, that's not good. You in, That can be your goddamn tomb right there. You want to get to some higher ground when there's earthquakes and tsunamis happening. Okay? If there's fire coming out the damn sky, meteors uh, flying out the goddamn sky, you still want to be on some high ground. But maybe in a cave somewhere. Okay? Now, only you know what's best for you. Do your research and find out what's best for you in your region. It's different, diff different things. We don't all live in the same region, so... There's different things. Each prepper is going to have to prep differently for the environment that they live in. Okay? So I can't tell you how to prep for your environment. I can tell you the basics of how to prep, which I told you in one of my last videos. Alright? And, you know, it don't matter if you're black or white or whatever, you need to fucking prepare for 2012. Alright? Too many prophecies been written about 2012, bad shit happening. The, go the government was barely, you know, barely have enough money to pay their bills last year. So you imagine what the fuck this year gonna be like. People already took to the streets last year. Okay, getting getting knocked upside the goddamn head and occupying Wall Street. It's only a matter of time before people start fighting back. Okay? And you wanna prepare for the worst. Don't wait until society fall apart, okay, to get the things that you need. Because more likely you you, you ain't gonna survive it. You ain't gonna, why risk your life to go and get some goddamn food and water when the shit hit the fan when you can get it right now? Hmm? You can get it right now without looking over your shoulder. Without carrying a firearm, which is something that you'll need also. And train with it. Because if you got a damn gun don't mean that you know how to place that bullet right where it needs to be. You need to train with it. If you got a rifle, you got, you ain't going to no gun range. Not not an indoor range. They're going to run your ass out of there. Only handguns only. You want to shoot, fire off a rifle, if you got a rifle and you need to fight, you better go out in the desert somewhere. Go out the city limits. Not the desert, but the city limits. You know what I'm talking about. And train with it. Okay? Buy your ammunition separate from the ammunition that you have stored. Ammunition high. Okay? There's been record gun sales this past Christmas. Okay? Because people don't even know where the fuck the country going, but they know something's going to happen. They know the bottom going to fall out. The financial crisis is, we can't continue to go on the path that we're going and expect nothing to happen. No, nothing bad not to happen. It's going to happen, shit. All right? it, it's going to happen unless some new technology is introduced that will change the way we live. Civilization as we know it. That would be pumping revenue, pumping money in everybody's pockets, okay? Everybody benefit from it, just like the internet, okay?
Okay? That was a big turnaround. It made a lot of people rich.